Hey and hello everyone, my name is Patrick Virai and welcome to my new episode of Why Buy When You Can DIY with Patrick. Before we start, if you guys are into arts, home decor, crafts, plants, obviously, um, travel, and food, cooking, you are in the right channel. So please do me a favor to subscribe, comment, and like this video before you guys watch it. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make this vessel look vintage. I know a lot of you guys are so obsessed with this kind of vessel and they're very very pricey if you're actually going to look at, at restoration hardware. They call it vessel restoration hardware, and I'm sorry, restoration hardware and that's why we are going to call it vessel. But it's up to you guys, you can call it pot, vase or whatever you want. All right. So before that, um, I actually bought this in home goods and they are very very cheap. I only bought it for $14.99. This one also in home goods for $12.99. Check this video. All right, so check this pot. I like the handle. Check this this handle right here and this. It's really big actually though, where you can put your plants or like, you know, like, like as a decor also. Unfortunately, I don't like the color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I got one, it's right here. It's only um, $14.99, not bad because it's really big and we are actually gonna going to DIY it. We're gonna do a vintage look on that. So watch out for that. This one caught my attention. Look at the handle. Oh, I like the, I like the shape also. Unfortunately, it's glossy. So this is gonna go home with me. This is $14.99 from Home Goods, of course. It's gonna go home with me and let's do some DIY. So what are the materials that we are going to use? So I have this ultra cover paint primer in black flat. So I can't find matte, but flat actually will work. Also, we have this ultra cover matte clear and a lot of dirt, this one. All right, so I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking me, what, uh, where can I find this dirt? We all live in different places. Well, my suggestion is go to the park, go to this baseball field, that's where I went to get all this dirt. Those dirt is actually perfect for this project. Come on, let's start it. Using our ultra cover primer, we're gonna spray paint our vessel. Okay, so we just finished spray painting our vessels. Uh, now it's time to use our dirt. So earlier, uh, when I stole some dirt from the park, <laughs> the video I'm going to show you guys. Um, well, they're all wet. I'm, I live in Chicago and all the dirt in Chicago are still wet. It's not summer yet. So what I did is I put it in a baking pan and I put it inside of the oven. And then look, they're all dry now. They're perfectly. So now we're just going to rub it to your, uh, to your vessel. Just like rubbing a turkey. That's the perfect one when they all go inside of that dent. Oh, that's so, it's so original, it's so vintage. Oh, look at that. Good stuff. All right. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep doing that one. And then after this, we're going to spray paint it again with our matte ultra cover 
matte clear right now with our matte clear spray so my suggestion for you guys is to wear gloves because uh, you wanted to keep the look like this because um, uh, your hand is sometimes wet so once you touch it you will ruin it okay all right so let's do it Make sure that you keep repeating it just spray rub spray and rub and at the end of it while it's actually getting dry just the last rub uh, that way the dirt actually stick on that one and the reason why we're actually keep doing it so that you can have a lot of texture you can have uh, more of like the vintage look on that all right so I hope you guys enjoyed it because I do now it's your turn to share your DIY. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Patrick underscore Virai underscore. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give all your suggestion, also anything that you want me to do, and I'll try to do it for you guys. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time. Try one.